Uh, it's called Cement Delivery. But the name is actually in the, the scenario is actually in German. <laughs> Which is fine, it's just if you're not expecting that, it's a bit tricky, that's all. Right, so what are we doing here? This, uh, so we're going to reverse back up and couple up to that. Uh, let's put that on. I won't blow my horn all the time, I know how much that annoys German users. <laughs> I try and blow the horn correctly for each area that I'm in. But you get into bad habits. Or what are a great habit in one region is a terrifically bad habit in another region. So this scenario is Cement Delivery by DW Agency. It's the BR-294 on the Royal Sieg line. That pause was just me moving the window out of the way. Right, there's the uh, the wagons we need to pick up. I think at seven o'clock in the morning we'll keep horn use to a minimum. Everyone seems to still be a bit sleepy. Right. Now we're off to Hagen Yard when we get the green signal anyway. It's oh, it's a 323 three over there. That's why I couldn't see it. <laughs> We have a green light, we are clear to go. It's a 10 limit, so let's not go silly. We have a green yellow. Is that an E18 or something going the other way? Put the wipers on, Moggy loves it when the wipers are on. Uh, more VS and E18 with silver link carriages. This is scenario set in the 70s. I honestly have no idea. I don't think there's any information in the. I you can't even actually understand that because that's in German and, well, you've heard how I talk, how I pronounce German names. You can imagine my understanding of German words. Uh, I can guess that I've got an 80 km h speed limit there, though. <laughs> so the uh, the scenario is uh, cement delivery by DW Agency. You can find it on Steam Workshop. V200 going through here. We 
Agent Stalin, you can always ask me a question. I will never stop you asking me a question, I just don't guarantee to answer it. <laughs> It is green. <laughs> Sudden horrible thoughts. Right, we have a faster speed limit. We're limited to 80 kilometers per hour but we can at least get up to that speed. 15 kilometers to Hagen Yards. I've got green lights. I like green lights. And I cannot lie. <laughs> Have I tried the wipers? I've tried the wipers. Yes, they're working fine, thank you. Another E18. This one hauling freight, by the looks of it. Gladry Fog, what's an outside view? Certainly. Eighty kilometre limit, so much for that. I see a crossing coming up ahead and I'm desperate to blow a, a rule fourteen L. <laughs> hey twenty two er, welcome. Ramos man, I do apologize, I did not see you follow. Um, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Train sim content, so I'm, there is a Royal Seek version 3, I'm just driving what's on Steam Workshop and I'm driving this scenario which uses the one that's, uh, or, yeah, uses the default route. It, it's not actually meant for um, the uh, Royal Seek version 3. So on my stream I only drive anything that's on Steam or on Steam Workshop. Like it or not. Because <laughs> basically I want to show what everybody is... Um, uh, what you can do without doing all the extra stuff because I know a lot of people get frightened off if they're not particularly good with PCs they get frightened off because it looks like you've got to do tons and tons of stuff to make it work yes my camera is on the second coach I thought people would like to see a little bit more of the train Dragon MDK welcome Master Daniels posted a link to the scenario, thank you. Speeding back up to the speed limit again, going a bit slow at the moment. 10.8 kilometres. If you missed the advanced preview, if you're just joining and you missed the advanced preview of the Voith Gravita 10VB, then don't worry, uh, as soon as the stream is over, I will endeavour to get everything uploaded to YouTube as quickly as I can. Or at least as quickly as YouTube can, anyway. <laughs> uh, Big Chrome, uh, this loco, or this train is limited to 80 kilometres per hour, so uh, I can't go up to 140, I'm afraid. I'm already breaking my speed limit, technically. 
actually, to be honest, you know, technically about it. Little BR, I do like the little BR three two three. There's something about it. It's tiny. There's no nothing like it. It's just awesome. A little loco like that is used for shunting. <laughs> Master Daniel, yeah, link to all the scenarios would be great. Unfortunately, it's just not something I've got time to do. I've already takes me about 45 minutes to get ready for the stream. Downloading, testing, updating Facebook, Twitter, setting up the Steam event, um, setting up Moobot so that Ping Show works. So it's, um, it's one more thing I don't have time for, if I'm honest. Although I would like to. Scenario is apparently set in 1982, according to Morbius. Yes. We've got double yellow, so expect stop at the next signal. I'm not running with PZB, so. Apparently I am running with PZB, I remember turning that on. Just there, the wipers on here again. Uh, Nessa, uh, Nessa uh, Ravine. Um, It'll be going on my Train Sim Live channel on UK DCC Rail. It'll be on this one. So if you go onto my YouTube channel now and make sure you're a subscriber, then you'll uh, you'll get the notifications once the uh, videos go up. Red light up in front of us. Pulling up a little bit closer to the light. Oh, it's another V200 over there. Right, let's see where we're up to. So we're here. Oh, we're crossing over, that's why. We're crossing over so we can come round into Hagen. And we will, he's now in front of us. Hagen, is he hauling ice cream? No. <laughs> <coughs> Wrong Hagen. Hopefully once he's out of my way, 
I can get a light to go. Got a blue line all the way around here now. I suspect we're going to need to tab this. Uh, probably not, no. Probably have to wait for him to go past, won't we? <laughs> There we go, we've got our 40 km hour speed limit signal. Josh Harkness, um, it's the um, the Rio Grande Railblazer from El Faber this after, after on the final scenario, uh, Josh Harkness. I'm going to do part two of your scenario, I think, Friday. It's, if you look on the uh, schedule spreadsheet, you can see exactly what is planned and when. Cheers, Victor. Oops. Come on, are there any plans for more German freight wagon packs? Uh, I've got no idea, I'm afraid. And as always, if it hasn't been announced, I can't talk about it. Double yellow, expect stop signal at the uh, next. I like this bit of Hagen Seek, and just because you're crisscrossing with other lines, it's uh, it's unusual. Cheers, Ninja Joker. piece of B is on even though I don't didn't turn it on. Oh well. <clears throat> Wait for the brakes to come off. Moggy says, idea for a scenario, those wagons full of ice cream on the London to Farisham being hauled to the DTG off towers at Chatham and Matt waiting on the platform with a spoon. A big spoon. ZB push the button. <laughs> it was only until I read that out that uh, it dawned on me what you'd done there. Very clever. Red light going down a hill, so let's put a bit more brake on. Yeah, so there's some talk at the moment on the channel about FSX. Um, had a lot of negative feedback about the FSX stream, other than those people that take part in it. I get a lot, I've had a lot of people that uh, basically saying, Friday, the one example comment I had was, Friday is the night to avoid the stream. That's not what I want. <laughs> so, uh, FSX will be coming back, have no fear. Um, but I'm going to think about doing it a different way. So what I've done is I've created a new stream called Fly Time Live. Um, and uh, so twitch.tv forward slash flytime live uh, I don't know when I'm going to start it but um, if you go ahead and hit follow then um, then you'll get notified 
Tiggins says, why not make it more interesting? Well, that's, that, that's basically why I'm having a break from it, because I want to work out what makes it more interesting. Um, and if I can make it more interesting, um, then, um, then I will certainly bring it back. I need to work out what that is. I'm certainly open for uh, people telling me what they think it should be. So, uh, but I want it interesting for viewers as well as for people taking part. Um, because if it's not interesting for viewers, we might as well just sit there and play without the stream. Which I'm not opposed to doing, but... We've got a green light as we uh, on our on our journey. 4.3 kilometres now to Hagen. Dave says do some missions. That's an interesting idea, yeah. There's some good missions, actually. Glad Cheese Rock says offer FSX instruction and flying tips. The key thing there, which makes it a bit more of a challenge, is I'm not that great a pilot. You know, um, anyone I've had one of the comments I've had is, well, you're not doing it right. Um, you're not flying the way you're supposed to fly, and quite right, because I don't know how to. <laughs> So um, I'm going to try and learn, but uh, at the moment, expecting authority from me in uh, flight sim is probably not going. Right, so we've got a green-yellow distant, green at this signal. A320 Master is learning to be a real pilot in, in real life. Excellent. Good luck with that. Moggy is resisting the urge. Go on, Moggy. Don't hold back. I know you're just to catch fire or something. Mole Man says he just wings it in FSX. But I'm bumped. Uh, STFNKTS, um, the map is, so Rua Seek was done before the advent of uh, Google, so the, the tracks aren't necessarily in quite the right places. I don't even know if these tracks still exist today. But. So I mean one thing I thought about with the, uh, with the flight sim was to um, concentrate, you know, I could do little overviews on some of the DLC that gets released. Um, uh, scenery packs, loco packs, and uh, see what um, yeah, it's uh, so I could have a look at some of those. I can do missions. Sorry, planes, not locos, cop flop and mail. I mean, looking at the DLC planes. I'm not going to do reviews, Planet Tree Frog. I don't think it's necessarily appropriate because uh, um, I don't, um, because I work for the company, I don't think it's appropriate for me to review it. Any review I give would be about as biased as it could possibly be, so. Okay, we've still got clean the light in front of us. Moggy says to become better at FSX in the aircraft, which forces you to become better. I think that's completely correct. I think you, you need it's the same with the trains or any any other game. To be honest, it's uh, you 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 build your skill to. Uh, Drive the uh, to drive the vehicle that's in front of you, and if uh, once you've reached that, that's all you do. Let's see your impression of Steve. No, I'm not going there. It'll be worse than drawing pins waiting for me. Who 
people saying fly jets. The problem is I don't like flying jets. I'll be completely honest, I do not like flying jets. Steve says the uh, physics one of those things, great at the start, great at the end, and the middle is elevator music. Completely agree with that. That's why I tend to do lots of touch and goes all the time. Why well, don't I like flying jets? Because I feel disconnected from flying. It feels more like you're control telling a computer what to do. Um, and they're just a bit big. I like flying little things. Coming up on Hagen Yard 31. Aileron music. <laughs> oh, doll. So Fridays will be going back to being train sim for at least the time being. Executor says try and incorporate ATC. That's probably one of the things I try and do, and I think the mission sort of brings some of that in as well. So I might do some of the cargo crew missions or the dangerous approaches missions, things like that. Right, so we're stopping here. Yeah, I don't like IFR because you know, there's nothing to look at. <laughs> I much prefer VFR. One thing I did think about doing was a video or something talking about, because um, I have a reasonably good understanding of how to do um, the radios for VORs, NDBs, ADFs, DMEs, um, and all that stuff. So I could talk about how I'm doing navigation with those. Just a bit like flying without the HUD, except you've got enough information there to do it. Right, we're dropping all of this off. And then we are going to final stop, which is in front of us. Final stop's just up there, we can go up to 40, so we speed up a bit. MFR, Mole Man Flight Blues. <laughs> right, pull up to this um, end of the siding here.
Right, there we go. Uh, no, I didn't see any of the Battle of Britain fly past today, I'm afraid, Mr. V. There we go. Right, scenario complete. That was Cement Delivery by DW Agency, uh, BR294 on Aurora Sieg. You can get that one from Steam Workshop. That's a nice little scenario, that. Okay, now switch back to changing route. Number three is oh no, it's it's challenge time. So PJT nineteen seventy four has issued he's thrown down the gauntlet and um, issued me with a challenge. And this is a challenge that he himself said when he ran the scenario he spatted it a couple of times. He ran it just recently. So. I'm not confident. I think 